This topic is on conditional items. Conditional items in WinEST are items that calculate values based on another item or items in an estimate, hence the term condition. I like to think of them more as dynamic items. But in this example, we're going to show you a conditional item that gets a value from a work breakdown structure value. First of all, I'm going to show you the values I have. This is work breakdown structure number two of work phases, I believe. And I have some values in here. Exterior work, I have a material total, $532. I have these uh, conditional items here. This is getting an, a value from a condition. So if I try to change it, um, I cannot. So let's go take a look at how that's calculating. So I'm going to open up Edit Estimate Item. There's a bot button here called Edit User Calculation Formula. I'm getting the value from a condition sum called Work Type, and I'm getting the material total. That should be the $532. I'm setting the material price in this item as 10% of that value. So you can see right here, set the material price times 0.01. So what you're seeing here is a material total of $532. I'm actually setting the material price or the material unit price. So let me put that column in here. And I'm getting 10% of that material total. If you recall, we're multiplying it by 0.1. My quantity is 100 on the takeoff, giving me a total of $5,320. The second item I'm going to show you is a conditional item that's getting a value from a condition, so it's a copy of this, plus I'm getting an input from a global variable, so I'm not hard coding numbers, or potentially I'm not hard coding numbers. I could have put that 10% up here in a global variable and got that value from there. So let me show you the user calculation formula. I'm getting the value again, the material total from that work type condition I set up. I'll show you the condition in a second. I'm also getting a factor, and that's get global dim bar or get global dimensional variable called weather factor. And then I'm doing the math in here, so I'm setting the item's field value for the other unit price, and I'm basing that on a value here times the factor. So I click OK. Okay, just to show you where this is coming from. Um, global dimensional variables are stored up here under specification or dimensional variables. And you can see I'm getting a factor of 1.1 here. I'm setting the other unit price right here, $585, which is 1.1 times this 53.20. And I didn't actually um, do it times 53.20. It's 1.1 um, times the value. So again, really quickly, I'm getting the value, material total, and I'm getting the factor. And I'm doing the math in here where I set the value. This is a very powerful feature in WinEST. And some people actually use it for markups. Many people use it for general condition items such as the project manager's time based on perhaps division six totals, that sort of thing. And the last thing I want to show you is where I set the condition. So it's tables condition. And I created this earlier, the work type condition. And all I said was that this condition is where WBS2 contains exterior work. And so that's the value I'm getting up here. And when I got that value down here in the formula itself, I had specifically said I want the work type, and then I have all those values available, and I wanted the material total. Could have pulled in a labor total, could have pulled in um, labor hours. There's all, all the fields are available. So these calculate dynamically, meaning that if you're changing the price in here, it's going to change the price on those items below.
pretty cool and that's conditional items.